Okay, I screwed up slightly when I was doing things with the OpenGL GL tutorials. So I'm going to try to correct my mistake. Basically, I was working with some code that a friend of mine had done to correct a couple of mistakes I had done. But I had made some new code which didn't use his code. And I don't know how to merge it automatically. So instead, I'm just going to rename his code in such a way that I can use my code and his code without conflicts. So let's open up a browser, scroll down to OpenGL tutorial. Now, first thing to do is rename this package, OpenGL tutorial, to OpenGL tutorial JVH, which is the initials of my friend. And now if you notice, everything is now referenced in that. It used to be referenced in the old name, now it's referenced in the new name. So let's go through and rename these classes, putting JVH at the end of each. And you'll notice an interesting thing. This class here is based off of OGL Morph. But once I change OGL Morph, rename it to OGL Morph JVH and accept. This class is now based off of OGL Morph JVH. So I'll just go through with the confidence, confidence that the system will rename things for me pretty nicely all the way through. Rename class JVH. Rename class with JVH. Rename class. I could probably do this automatically with a couple lines of code, but there's one thing that pops up that might not work well if we did it completely automatically. JVH. Let's make sure that everything's renamed. Two more things to go. Rename class. JVH rename class JVH aha uh -huh. says there's some obsolete references to ship so where are those obsolete references well here's one of them I'm making a new ship instance from the ship class but there isn't one anymore so I'm going to rename that ship JVH and save it. Give my own initials. Go to this one. There's another reference to the obsolete class that doesn't exist anymore. JVH, save it. And there's the third reference. JVH and save it. And now, if everything has gone right, if I were to go back to, say, this, do new open in world, and sure enough, without any muss and bother, I've just renamed the entire class, and there's my friend's code completely renamed in that amount of time. And now I can go back out and load my code and try to merge them and use his changes and my changes. As I said, there's probably better ways to do it, but this is the way that I learned in just a couple of seconds, and I'm showing it to you. And I think it's pretty slick.